imo siya ang tuuhan sa imong kinabuhi. Hello. First days ako ah, pan reading the Bible and with someone who can I share sa ako as ulo si Ginoon. The great miracle that happened or the great work of God para sa kinabuhi kat kung di po hatin Jesus para sa akong kaugali mo dito sa tuas. I was supposed to die and to suffer the penalty of sins throughout eternity in hell. Yet Jesus assumed the, the punishment of my sin, which is death, on the cross. So that when he assumed that penalty of my sins, he had a clear code, he sa akong mga records of wrongs and mistakes, unya he declared ko niya, got not guilty, and for me to receive the freedom of eternal life. And for me, that was the greatest miracle. And in a practical side, when I was in college, it was so difficult for me to study because, as you know already, right? I love you. I love you more than those people who are in the They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do the great, aside from my salvation, the great work of God was God's sustaining grace and provision for my studies. You could imagine that uh, wala ka inahan, tapos imong amahan, di abandon ka. Wala ka sabot, wala, wala ka support ka sa imo ay all. Then I had to study in the city, nga grabe ang demas na kay boarding house na bayro noon, na kay pagkaon and all. But all throughout, all throughout those years, I was working in Jollibee, I was a houseboy in the house of a missionary, I was working Working student ko at tunga time, and by the grace of God, it sustained me to be a student na kanan, by the grace of God, bilikot ko lila at estudyante. And pasalamat ko sa Gino for His favor and for His grace. It was all by the word of God, by the grace of God. That's why church, kabalo mo, we never na mo rin ma-discourage kita ko, we never na mo rin ka nang maapiktuhan akong faith, mag mo rin ka nang kanang uh, ma-shake ang akong faith o akong commitment kay God, balikan na ko ito kung kung saan gibuhat ni Jesus para sa akong kinaguhin. Kung saan gibuhat ni sa cross, yun sa ko, pag panalangin sa ginugikan at itong batak ako, ang tulad ko, would have thought that this person in front of you, yes, kabalo ko, guwapo ni siya, pero kininitibo ni. Kaya mo siya nitibo? Nitib. Luma. What of a kind? What of a kind? Exotic? Yes, exotic or exotic na. Pero mo ni pinagkagawa po nga nao para sa akong asawa. Kung sa inyong tanaw, tinag-question ninyo na eh. Bawag hindi akong mahatag sa inyo. Who would have thought that I would become a medical doctor? Who would have thought that I would pass my license of being an educator because I am also a professional teacher? Who would have thought that I would pass the board exam? Who would have thought that I would make it, you know, sa medical school na ako ang background is I am a, bat, my, I am a graduate of one Bachelor of Science in Industrial Education, major in Industrial Arts. Unyan na doktor. Industrial Arts, ang muna siya, panday-panday, drawing-drawing, di ba? Kurinti di ha na ito. Pag umoto ko dito sa anatomy, physiology, chemistry, listen kayo, itong mga teacher doctors din eh, ay may kaya ninyo, kung nakaya na ko ito, mas kaya ninyo. Palatake lang ninyo sila. Pero may mong ko, grasya na din sa gino ko. Amen? Mato pa ni Guy Boy last time ko doon share sa kagahapon. Pag-answer niya sa board exam, or tingin siya nga, di siya kabalo ko. Sige ngunit yan. Masa ito yung manong guys? Ana siya o, iba ABC niya, asa dili ang answer ni Jesus. Dito na yun. Letter C. Letter C. Let, next number, nabawag yun. Dito siya nagsugod letter C. Lord, para po ka ba lo? Asa dili imong answer, Lord. Letter B na saan? Pero di na, tino, di na kayo ng one of the Kato, tumot lang sa dako din yung pagtuot ng Jesus. Nadikin siya kabalo ni tao, pero mas mahigit yun nga mag-study kita. Amen? Pero with that kind of faith, with that kind of faith, kabalo, mas ito yun. Ano to yan, dibuhat? 
nakapasa siya, kapag siya nagigil niya, kaya ipasa ang board exam. Pero pagpasa niya, ang sino niya, praise the Lord! Kaya hindi siya nga, manguyap na itong charil. <laughs> sa grasya sa ginawa. Church, usahay sa itong mga pagduha-duha, gusto tayo masutihan, yung mas kina mga tao sa Bible, Napo sila mga doubts. John, he doubted Jesus. Paul, he doubted Jesus. And usually, deep doubt is often the precursor to an even, even deeper faith. Ang kanagrabi ni mga pagtuha-tuha, mo ni siya'y prelude, mo ni siya'y kanang mga palit sa mga mas mutuo kag maayong kay God. And the scripture records that the grandest doubters often become the strongest believers. James is one of the examples of that. Paul doubted Jesus. He persecuted Jesus. And those were following the way. But see, he was the strongest. He became the strongest believer. Because he doubted God. Muna gisutin ako sa inyo, mga karoon. Mas kilog na doubt pa kang kahapon, na ito ni Aging Adlao, God can use your doubts for you to strongly put your faith in the Lord. And you will become a strong believer of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Si C.S. Lewis, si C.S. Lewis, tama po pagka-pronounce? Lewis. Okay. Si C.S. Lewis, nga writer, he was once a, an, an atheist. Was he magto? Because of the search of truth, the search of the search of, because of the grabe na turn ay ang kinabuhi. Nakatuo, grabe. Ano siya kay Bote Karon? Nagsulat siya yung mga books. Mas kinong tagaw niya, more siya fiction niya po. Pero naay ka na, naay ka na biblical significance. Na spiritual significance. Naay niya. Di ba siya kasulatan na? Oo. Oh. Huwag ang imagine na yun na nangang ka ng hitabo ka ka ng kinabuhi. Pero yung usap sa gino, he became the strongest believer. And in Acts 1.14, the Bible says, They all met together and were constantly united in prayer, along with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and several other women and the brothers of Jesus. Wow! James was saved at the moment that Jesus resurrected, then he put his faith on Jesus. And after he put his faith on Jesus, he was joining with other believers, praying together for their next move. Kasi, sunod nilang ang buha ko, para sa pag-preach sa kingdom ng God. They were praying. The believers were praying with Mary and other women and the brothers of Jesus, including James. Unsa ang kinabuhi ni James? James was saved by God. He was a doubter, but he became the strongest believer of his brother. He became the strongest believer of Jesus. In Galatians 1, 18 to 19, this records that James was leading the church in Jerusalem. Wow! From being a doubter, now he becomes a leader of the church. A people, they know that point there, but don't get Jesus. Sa una na tuha duha sa kanyas karon, naglinda siya sa isang karon ang atong gino si Jesus lagiot ang atong Lord si Jesus lagiot. Wow. Galatians chapter two verse nine, Paul described James as one of the pillars of the church, like Peter and John. He was one of those people who stood up in their in their in their faith, and they they fought a good fight of faith. And they, they established the church of God during the New Testament era. Acts 15, 4, verse 30 to 30. James gave direction of the church. He became the pastor of the church and he gave direction. He was the leader in the church. Acts 21, 18, 18 rather. James' leadership position in the church was clearly demonstrated. He even gave Paul an advice. Siya po advice kay Paul. That's how influential si James after niya may nag-transfer and trust kay Jesus. Church, mas kung sa ito yung doubts ka ni Ato, we always have the opportunity to turn our doubts into strong faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Kung sa man ang mga pagduha-duha ni mo sa iyong kinabuhi ka mo, I am hoping na makarelate sa kinabuhi ni James. John chapter 6, verse 28 to 29. When Jesus was talking with the crowd, he was speaking with the crowd, this crowd replied to Jesus, We want to perform God's works too. What should we do? 
And Jesus told them, This is the only word God wants from you. Believe in the one in the sent. Work. The work is a toil. The work is a labor. And I want us all to know to believe is a work. It's a work to do. Yes. Meaning, we need to toil, we need to labor. But what's about dili sa yun ang pagtuo? Amen. Every day you'll be confronted with faith testing situations. Tama? Lord, makaya ba na kuni? Mabuhat ba na kuni? Ma-achieve ba na kuni? Mabag hindi maayaw na ito po sa kinabuhi? Nag-worry ta because we are doubting. Tama? Hello? Nag-worry ta sa daghang mga butan. Huwag tuwag kayo worry ta, huwag pasagot kayo kagalot ta. But Jesus said, you need to work out your salvation. You need to work out your faith. Believe in the one He has sent. So church, whenever you will be discouraged, this is the concluding verse that I'm going to leave to you. Hebrews chapter 4, 14 to 16. Jamal Palilkos across. So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all of the same testings we do. Yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. Then we will receive his mercy, and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. The cross. What's the name? Cross. Can I cross? Is it important? Ang mas importante ang nagpalansa sa cross. Amen. Ang mga tao kaniya ko. During sa New Testament times, kung ipanis sila, ilang saan sila sa cross? Si Jesus, ilang ipanis, di ni tungod sa iyang salam. Ipanis si Jesus tungod sa imong salam o sa akong salam. Si Jesus, yan yung sa kalibutan with the cross of the King and the King. I've shared that earlier, right? And what is His cross? to save the humanity. Jesus Christ came here to rescue us from the penalty of sin, which is death. Jesus came here to pay the penalty of our sins, which is death. Jesus came here to redeem us from the slavery of sin. To redeem us from the power of the enemy. Palitunta niya balik Di ba si God nagtagiya sa atwa? Hello. But because of the sins of our our first parents, nakasala ko ta, and we were separated from God. And the enemy has the control over us. And because of that, gusto sa gino nga irredeem back tanya, ibay back tanya. Jesus came here na ibay back ka, irredeem ta niya dito sa cross. Ikaw ni, ako ni. Ilansa, ang rason na ilansa si Jesus dito. And the Bible says, anyone who believes in Jesus shall not perish but, but will have eternal life. Have you decided in your heart that Jesus is your Savior? Amen. Have you decided in your heart that Jesus is your Lord? Amen. And the Bible says, because you have trusted, you have put your faith in Jesus who is your Savior and your Lord, then you have eternal life. Amen. You have a new life in and that was the great miracle that He did for all of us. And for me, this is the strongest, the, the clearest illustration of the power of God para sa akong kinuwi. Ang gahong sa ginaw nga si Jesus na matay kinubong o nabanhaw. O sa iyang pagkabanhaw, nagsaad siya na kung kita mamatay physically, Banhawang punta ko sa kaya replace na akong lawas o glorified body so that we will have 
in life that is eternal and we will live with Him throughout eternity. And that is the miracle. And that is the work of God for you. Unsa ang sa imong kinabuhi? Nga sa imong tanaw, sa una, sa una lisod ka, ayaw niya pagkahuman, kitabangan ka sa ginoo. Gitubag sa ginoo ang imong pagkahuman. And then you said, Lord, salamat, you are indeed faithful. You are indeed good. You are dependable. You are able. You are powerful, God. Count your blessing one by one. Count the favors of God one by one. Count the mercies of God one by one. And then you would learn to appreciate that indeed the God whom you serve deserves your trust, your confidence, and your faith. And I am praying that after the service this morning, and as we depart from this place, we will never forget this, that at times that we may be doubting, but it is always an opportunity. Whenever we doubt, no, or we doubt, we can allow this again to practice that we have a good time to do it. He being our God, He being our Lord, He being our provider, He being our protector, He being so faithful to answer sa ating mga pag-ako sa iya. Amen. Kasi anda mo tuo sa iya. Kasi anda mo salik sa iya. Palagpakan na ito ang ginoo sa iya. Today we are going to have our Lord's Supper. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to the following verses, the Bible says, For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord Himself. On the night when He was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and He gave thanks to God for it. Then He broke it in pieces and He said, This is my body which is given to you. Do this to remember me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this to remember me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and you drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again.